I. You ever enter a room just full of memorabilia? That's this movie right here. I had a Voltron wearing 35 year old sitting next to me clapping like a seal throughout the whole movie because he was playing like a game of I Spy with the screen. And every time anything from his childhood came up, my man would just say it out loud like we were at a museum. So I guess thanks for the assisted Easter eggs. But is this Spielberg back in his prime, right? Is this the best movie of the year? Does this movie have that magic we grew up with while our dads went out to get milk and never came back? Well, of course, I always recommend going to go check it out for yourself. But in my opinion, I thought it was worth the junior price. Let me explain. If you didn't read the book or half of it like I did, then this spoiler breakdown pretty much goes like this. It's the year 2045, Blade Runners are still out there, and there's a guy named James Halliday who pretty much upped Jobs, Gates, and Kanye as he opened up the future with this thing known as the Oasis. It's pretty much online gaming with VR, and it changes everything since everyone now lives digitally, and whoever controls the Oasis, you know, practically controls the world. It's like the fat guys in WALL-E, except... We're still on Earth and everyone's poor. That's why everyone gets excited when Halliday dies because he leaves behind this scavenger hunt to find the golden Easter egg that'll give that person possession of the Oasis. And all they have to do is study this dude's life. Like, literally examine his childhood and become obsessed with him, the 80s, and everything that he grew up with in order to solve this puzzle. That's the most Kanye thing you can do. That's where Cyclops, the dying girl, and Aziz's friend, who won't return his text, set out to solve all of the clues. I'll say this, I think it's cool to see all these pop culture references, right? Like, obviously it's Warner Bros, so they can't show all the Disney stuff, but I do believe, right, when we're looking at the point of this movie, we're gonna get to that point in our lives where everything's just in VR, if we aren't already like that with the Black Mirror phones that we have in our pockets. I just wasn't aware, in terms of the movie, that it was more of a young adult film, if you get what I'm saying. Like, don't get me wrong, I'd love to save the world if I was a kid, right? There's definitely that movie magic when you're a child and you're going up against adults, but I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more than some things. Like that twist with the butler dude actually being Simon Pegg, who was Halliday's partner the whole time. So why was he spitting exposition if he knew everything that was going on? You got a postal truck in this movie that's running faster than military grade vehicles. This chick right here is walking in and out of this highly guarded security corporation office like it's a freaking Walmart. The clues in order to find the Easter eggs end up being drive in reverse and you'll win the race. Go dance with the girl that I couldn't. Solve this Atari. Actually, the last one's pretty cool. It actually goes off of this game called Adventure that was actually the first video game that included an Easter egg, and all you had to do was just move around in the game. You didn't even have to win it in order to find it. And that's kind of the whole point that Halliday was going for. That it's not always about winning, right? That everyone's so focused on the ending goal, but they ignore the journey. Like, my man created this oasis on a Sunday afternoon just for fun, but everybody in their Mendelssohn wants to take it away just to, you know, make it into a business. They start hiring interns just to figure out how to get these Easter eggs. Like, they start whoring out pop culture for their game, like their watch mojo. And that's what ruins the joy of it. That's why this movie's talking about the journey and that being the main focus and not the ending. That's why when Wade wins it all, he closes the Oasis two days of the week so you can actually spend physical time with your family and to realize that the game of life was never meant for just one player. But never enter that shining world. Heck no. Thank you guys for checking out this video. As always, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Like I said, I thought it was a fun, enjoyable movie. I like the pop culture references. References that we're, you know, we're gonna be figuring out till the year 2045. I got a little Easter egg video of my favorites. Anyone telling you that they have them all, they'd be lying because Spielberg don't even know them. But I'm telling you this, I, I think the movie, the story itself could have been handled a bit better and not have that freaking training day moment with Denzel Washington at the end of the movie. But I do think that it was still a fun movie to enjoy in the theaters. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll send you your own Brazzers VR headset.